Hello viewers, you are watching ENN News with me, Ainunik Maramadania. We will bring you the most updates for international news. Now, we will deliver the news of Australia will remove Chinese missile surveillance cameras from defense state over national security field. It comes out to an audit for 900 pieces of surveillance equipment built by companies Hick Vision and Dawa on government estates. The UK and US made similar move last year, citing fear the device data may be assessed by the Chinese government. Hick Vision says the fear are unfounded. Dawa has not responded or access for common. The audit of Australian government said found the cameras and security gear were located on more than 200 buildings in almost every department, including the Foreign Affairs is a third general department. At least one unit was also found in the defense department, but the total number at defense site is unknown. Defense Minister and Deputy Prime Minister Richard Marles on Thursday say the government would find and remove the cameras from any defense location to make them completely secure. I don't think we should overstate but it's a significant thing that's been brought to our attention and we're going to fix it. He said adding the defense budget in time in office. Attorney General Mike Trevor say the government will review whether the cameras on other government buildings need to be removed as well. Shadow Minister for Cybersecurity Jim Patterson would request the audit say they do. Australia has no way of knowing whether data collected by the device is being handed over to Chinese intelligence agencies, he says. Chinese national security law can be used to compel any organization or citizen to support assist and share credit. But with the state intelligence work, Senator Patterson also agreed Australia should not be supporting Hikvision and Zahua for moral reasons. He said both companies have been directly implicated in the alleged human rights abuse and mass surveillance of Uyghur in Xinjiang. Hikvision says it is categorically faced to represent them as a threat to national security. No respected technical institution or assessment has come to this conclusion, a spokeswoman said. The company says cannot access and user video data and therefore cannot transmit into third parties, she said. But in November, the UK also blocked the installation of any near surveillance camera made by Dahua and Hikvision on sensitive sites due to security concerns. It also said it would interfere with the device already in place should be removed. This letter, the US banned the sale and import of new communication equipment from five China-based companies including Dawa and Hivision. Prime Minister Anthony Albany said he was unconcerned about how the Chinese government might react to the move. We act in accordance with Australian national interests. We do so transparently and that's why we will continue to do. He told the poster. Tie between China and Australia had started after Canberra bin Huawei from its 5G network in 2018. A China respondent with Chinese in tariff of Australian export, such as coal, lobster and wine. But relations have been improving under the centre-left government which come to power in 2022. Well, that's all the news. I am Ayunik Maramadania. Thank you for your nice attention. Goodbye and have a nice day.